I am hoping that my camera is focusing on my face because it keeps flashing at me and I don't know what it's doing. I'm trying to do a little update. It's the second time I've tried to film this on the HRT. So I take the pump dispenser every day when I remember for the estrogen and there's another clip that I've done with that in. So this is just an update on the progesterone really, sorry, I'm just my glands are up, I'm not feeling well again. And yes, I think it's gonna take another month to me for me to decide whether it's working and what it's actually doing because I've not been taking 200 milligrams that the doctor said because I get so drowsy from it, from taking the 100 milligrams. I tried taking 200 milligrams one day and I, I was just, I just felt wrecked the next day and I've got enough problems dealing with stress and the depression that's hit me since the perimenopause has just smacked me around the head like a wrecking ball basically, it's come into my life like a complete wrecking ball and it's affecting all aspects of my life uh, especially with the fatigue and the depression which I've already had anyway and I, I felt great for the past few years but it's just hit me it's just just hit me I don't know um, but yeah so I'm trying the hormones reluctantly because I don't like to take prescriptions I'm more of a natural natural herbal kind of person um, I prefer plant medicine to prescription drugs um, because I had a bad experience with a prescription drug um, couple of prescription drugs like 10 years ago and I could have died basically so very very conscious of taking letting my body do its own thing naturally but the fatigue and the depression and the mood swings were off the charts so that's why I want to take take the HRT just to see how it is see if it improves because my life just wasn't worth living um, not doing much at the moment. Oh, I've got a fungus gnat flying around my head. Those pesky little fungus gnats that fly up in, up your nostrils. You'd be sat on the computer doing some research and some study, and they'll just they'll fly they'll fly right to your eyes because they like to drink the water out of your eyes, and they'll come round like this, and then they'll go they'll sneak right up your nostril before you expect it. So yeah, not good. I've taken a couple of days off because I've got some horrendous inflammation. Um, sports therapist thinks I might have costochondritis, which is an inflammation of the the cartilage that comes down the rib cage, where the rib cage joins and all around the joints in the rib, in the ribs. But I get globalized joint pain anyway, um, especially with the hormones. So I'm on day nine of my cycle, but this is this feels like a glandular thing. I can feel my glands are up. Um, my um, ooh, my neck is sore there. I went to the chiropractor yesterday, but my neck still feels really sore because I've been to two massage therapists and neither of them actually worked on my neck I need somebody to just get in there like this and just work on my neck and they haven't and it's so annoying when you just you go in there and you work as a body worker yourself and you're like okay it's my SCM it's my scalenes that need doing and then they just don't do it they've got their own agenda for their own thing that they do and like, oh let's stretch you let's do some stretching well I'm already doing some stretching I've got a wedge that I lay my neck back on. Ah, oh, it's just another another level of frustration that you have to deal with on top of everything else and worrying about your new prescription. And then it's been torrential rain in the UK, so I've just been for a paddle down at Macro, which is the um what do you call it? Like Booker's, it's like the wholesalers, like the bulk buy, the bulk buy superstore. And six <laughs> six inches of water in the car park and they're like oh yeah we've had the drains fixed but it never really works so and then I just thought no I don't want to drive to the spa because it's half an hour away 35 40 minutes drive especially going a bit slower in the rain and I need to put air in my tires and it's been chucking it down so I haven't done that um and I thought, no, I don't want to get caught in a flood. And they've shut shut part of the A roads off as well down down towards that way. So I'm thinking, no, I'll get caught in a flood. I'll get caught in traffic. All these negative bias things that you think of instead of thinking, right, I'll just get there. You know, I'll just swerve a few puddles. It'll be fine. It might just need to go a bit slower. It might take a bit longer. 
but I don't want to go in the car for 40 minutes. I'm having problems with my waterworks, which is another part of the inflammation and the perimenopause symptoms. I mean, there's a list of 40 symptoms that I wrote down the other day and I'm going to do a symptoms based separate video clip for that. So I just feel like I'm going mad all the time lately and the mood swings are just completely off the charts. I went to the chiropractor and I was just whinging about the sports therapist because he only booked me in for half an hour and he didn't bother to tell me. Uh, so where's this video going? I'm going off on my soapbox. So yeah, um, I think this is going to take another month for these, these tablets. Um, just to see how it, it kicks in because a symptom, a side effect of it from the long list of side effects that I've done another vlog about, clip, vlog, whatever. Um, saying about what they are so depression depression is a major one but if you're already depressed because of the menopause anyway then it's hard to tell if it's taking you down so i'm on day nine of my cycle and my mood just seems to be coming back up but i've also been taking 5 htp 5 hydroxy tryptophan which is a precursor to make serotonin because i've been forgetting to take it so i like to take it every day and i take uh, 500 milligrams I think yeah 500 milligram tablet of that and I've also got a bigger one which is a higher strength tryptophan so if I forget to take one I'll hopefully remember to take the other because one's downstairs and one's upstairs on my bedside table so I keep one upstairs on my bedside table so I remember to take it and I'm having to set little alarms on my phone for like 9 p.m. to take it like an hour before I go to bed uh, which is what I do for the progest progesterone as well because I forget to take that. It gets to day 15 and I've written it in my diary so I have to check, obviously check my diary every day to know what I'm doing. But it's the brain fog and the confusion. For the past few days I've been getting up, going in, in the other room and thinking well, what am I doing here? What am I doing in here? I mean, going upstairs and oh, what did I come up here for? It's that. And... Um, it was a funny moment actually this morning when I got up and I was putting the laundry on and I had this song playing in the back of my mind and it was something, something not forgotten and it just kept in with the melody, which I can't sing, fungus gnats again, the melody of it um, that I had playing in my mind and I can't sing so I'm not going to, I'm not going to destroy people's ears and it was not forgotten, not forgotten. And I thought, isn't that hilarious? Not forgotten the lyrics of a song, but I can't remember the, the other lyrics. So I started to get forgiven, not forgotten. Forgiven, not forgotten. And somebody might be thinking, oh, forgiven, not forgotten. That's a song. Oh, this lady's similar age to me and they're going to type it in the comments. So go ahead, type it in the comments. And then I, I started to see the images in my head. And I thought, oh, I got an Irish accent. It's an Irish band. It's <laughs> forgiven, not forgotten, Irish band. So I googled it and then it's the cause of course isn't it from the 90s, um, the family, the Irish family and then so oh, I'm happy with the, with this song, I've remembered the song and I'm listening to the song on YouTube and then I start to get stressed again because I've got family estrangement and think jealous, is jealousy comes in and you go through the whole gamut of emotions of crazy mood swings that, that these hormones and the hormonal changes do to you and plus the stress response as well which is a whole other level of clusterfuck there's uh, obviously chemicals as well in things you've got the endocrine disruptors in deodorant in body sprays and stuff like that um so yeah to, to have something natural i take try and use as i said earlier i try and use as many natural things as i can because i don't want the chemical buildup and the toxic buildup because my body's already so inflamed from nerve impingement and fibromyalgia symptoms, ME, CFS, whatever you want to call it, I've got all that going on as well. Um, and TMJ, which is joint inflammation of the joint in here, the jaw joint. And yeah, it's pretty pretty much a shit show really with everything going on. So it's too difficult to say, sorry if this video is a bit naff. Um, it's too, I guess it's too difficult to say, but so for 20 years I've been waking up every three hours with PTSD, complex PTSD, um, and just 
stress and being a mum as well, being a single parent and just being on constant red alert in case there's something wrong with the kids and having pets as well. Um, uh, so it then gets into a habit in your brain and you, you get over that threshold where you can relax. So you'll start to relax and then something will happen, something will kick off. Um, and that's very much a trauma response where you're trying to relax, trying to relax. And then I noticed it earlier, I was trying to relax, trying to relax. And I was listening to a video on YouTube about trauma and then something came up. And I thought, oh yeah, that pain I had, that release at the chiropractor, it was grief. Some grief came up out of my diaphragm on the left side. And then so I'm listening to somebody talk and I'm being triggered. And then I'm going into the feeling and I'm trying to, trying to release it. So, but that's a whole other video. That is another another video that I can do about that on how to release it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a video on how to release and get in touch with your feelings and release it. Obviously, listening to other people talk is very, very emotive um, from an empathy perspective. If you're somebody that has empathy, a lot of people don't. Then you can go into into your feelings that way by listening to other people. I often read a lot of comments on YouTube on videos and people are like, oh yeah, and there's reams and reams of stuff and they're oversharing actually, which is not good. Mm. But, but yeah, I'll do another 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 talk on that if, if people would like that, because that is a whole nother level of conversation. But this one is, is an update about progesterone in particular and little, little bits and pieces of what's been happening in my life. Um, but I shall do some more. So please do leave a comment if you would like me to talk about the things I've discussed in this video further or leave a comment about your experience of progesterone and how you're getting on with it and I will do some clips as well where I read other people's comments and I would like to do interviews with people so I found a couple of local people but if you want to get in touch through the about me section if you just click on the username on YouTube click on the name Fab Fash 40 and then it'll give up some information of you know where you're based and your email address and if you just drop me an email I feel like I'm getting a bit gassy if you just drop me an email then we can sort something out well I'll, that's something I'm going to be doing soon in the next couple of months is doing interviews with other women just because of the gaslighting the amount of women I'm speaking to oh this is why I've set this up as well because of the gaslighting anyway so me leave me a comment or send me an email if you'd like to do an interview with me um it would just be like a 30 minute uh zoom or whatever whatever platform 